Well, Jerry, a 1-1 draw with Weymouth. I know you came into it wanting a little bit more, so is there a hint of frustration? Yeah, but also I don't feel as if we did quite enough to get the three points today. Um, credit to Jason, to Weymouth. You know, worked tirelessly throughout the game, stayed in the game. But in all honesty, we should have put the game to bed. We had an opportunity to to score, make it 2-0. We didn't take it. A couple, really. There's a couple, a couple of half chances as well. Um, and you get that feeling in one of these games. You've been around long enough and you understand it. We were chatting on the bench as the lads, you know. No blame's put any individual on it at all. We're just saying that in key, key moments of the game, again, we need to put it to bed. We were doing that probably five weeks ago. When teams suddenly have their spell, we hit them with a goal and then we'd go 2-0 up. And that, that pretty much is, brings them out and then you end up scoring more. So when we were free-flowing and scoring those goals, that's why. Um, really tricky conditions out there. Really tricky. I mean, you can't, you can't really get any sustained spells of possession on it. It's really difficult. I know it doesn't look it from the side, but when you're on it, it's really tough. And that's it. No blame to anyone at all, apart from the weather. The weather has been horrific. I've never known anything like it. We're sat here on Easter. Normally we're in shorts and t-shirt because the weather's turning. But again, a hell of a lot of rain. Uh, really good that they got the game on again. Um, but it's not easy to play on it for both sides. Um, so yeah, listen, we, we're disappointed obviously to, to draw, but we haven't lost. We've gone up two places, so there's a lot of positivity to take from. We've gone up to eighth in the league. Uh, we're still three points off the playoffs with a game in hand and two on some. Um, so we have to make, remain upbeat. We have to remain positive. We won't let it drift. We've got a really tough game now on Monday. Got to turn it around. Physically, it's zapping that pitch. All the pitches will be the same. Um, so the boys have got to recover and be ready for Monday. You're right to say that City squandered chances themselves, particularly at the start of the second half, but then 89 minutes when Joel Rollinson's got pretty much a, a gaping goal in front of him, he puts it wide. You sometimes think, well, but I haven't a couple of years ago, remember they missed a penalty and late on City then resurgent after then. You sometimes think, well, we're going to get a draw and now we can move on from that. Yeah, honestly, I didn't really see it. It's happened so quick over the fast hole. I can see it was a, a good chance um, from where I'm stood. But like you said, I'd rather focus on us and our chances and... They were, they were, you know, one, one in particular or a couple that where we should hit the target. And I'm talking about things like, you know, I've said to the group and there's not necessarily a 1v1. It might be a free header from a corner. It might be a cross shot, uh, might be a final pass. We haven't quite, quite got that going. Um, the goal we score is a good goal, very good goal. Really pleased for Joe. Getting on the score sheet, gets himself high up the pitch. Um, it's hard to be brave on that. It really is. I don't, I don't think we, our normal game, when you look at us, our normal identity is we get on the ball and we switch play a lot. We get it to wide players. Prime example is when Elliot goes to cross one at the end, it goes up round his knee and it goes over behind the goal. Really difficult. Um, but that's how it is this, this stage of the season and it will be up and down the country in every league and there'll be some funny results. I've just quickly had a little look. Um, some, some crazy results again. Lots of goals scored and conceded. When you're trying to get over the line, whether you're a team that's trying to survive, go into the playoffs, get promoted as champions or, or, or whatever the situation may be, it's not easy this stage of the season. There's so many things that go into it, fatigue, injuries, state of pitches. And um, we've just got to stay with it. We've got to stay with it because we've just got to ride it a little bit. We haven't lost the game. We've drawn it. We'll take the point. And um, like I said, we'll go into a game which more or less will be, you know, we'll have to, we'll have to win that one. Um, the stage of the season, it's not, we've still got six left. Um, and we're waiting on, obviously, the slow one. Um, so we'll see how we go. Hopefully the game's on on Monday. Um, but he'd be coming up against a team that are just fighting for their lives and a lot of respect for Rob down there. He's been in a real difficult and tricky situation that he's been dealt with, not for his fault. And um, and he'll have his boys fighting and they'll be prepared to fight and scrap. Um, and we've got to do that as well. And then hopefully what we lack today, that little bit of quality, hopefully it'll come out. It's no different at the moment to playing Saturday, Tuesday, which you do many times, or sometimes mm -hmm. over Easter. Can it be a bit difficult focusing Friday to Monday? Do you have the Taunton game at all in your mind, or were you just thinking of this one in isolation? Just this one, Mark, just this one. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of talk around the pitch at Taunton at the moment. That's a distraction for people. And I've said to the boys, just focus on today. And we, we have. We've, we've prepared as well as what we would do. Um, but Monday comes upon us. Like you say, it's a little bit different because it's Easter. So maybe people are spending time with their families. Families are at home. Um, so that's a little bit different than not working. So yeah, just getting the mindset right, really, as a, as a member of staff and a player, making sure we come into it and it's going to work time. We're not on holiday. Um, and then, um, and then that, that, that ruthless, that, that side of us where, like I said, it comes with, it comes with a strong mentality, a winning mentality and a bit of quality. They've got it in abundance, this group really have. Um, and we certainly don't want the season to drift and it's all in our hands. That's the good news. So, um, I'm pretty sure we'll, We'll go down to Taunton. It'll be really competitive. We'll, we'll have to look after the performance levels. 
um, and hopefully we get we get the rub of the green and when those chances come we we take them and um, and put them to bed but we know it's going to be a another really really tough game and we will be prepared for it we've talked about pitches playing surfaces not just for us for other teams of course the the free g application <coughs> was announced the other day is going to be delayed by a further year at least what was your take on that well, it's, it's a huge disappointment for, for everyone at the football club. Um, and, I, and I mean everything and everyone, it's, it's twofold. You look at it and you can, you can, you can save a lot of money or you, or you don't lose a lot of money when games obviously aren't getting called off and you've got a 3G where you know you're going to play. Um, and listen, we're all, we're all of the same, really. If you're brought up with football, you, you want to play on grass. We really would love to play on a Deso pitch, hybrid Deso pitch with pop-up sprinkler system but that's going to cost you millions and millions of pounds and that's only really done in the FL um, so the next option would be to go 3G for us and and also if you think about our performances in recent years on 3G they've been very good I, if you watch Sunday's game mm. it's a real high level game and it's end to end and it's exciting to watch um, and the other side of it is obviously that you're trying to pull the whole club together then because we are remote in regards of we trade in Bristol um, obviously the, the ladies two teams the first team and the development team are training at odd down um, and playing some games here but not all their games here the youth teams are all over the area spending you know well over thirty thousand pound in facility i should imagine something around that um so what that does it pulls everyone together and it's a bath city united together as a front as well so that's really powerful um and that's a disappointment for me really when you look at it as a football as a football person, how you can pull the club together, the 3G would work massively. And I include the foundation program in it and the community program as well, because they would get use of it as well, not be spending money elsewhere on facility and running it here as a hub. So yeah, that's that's all the bigger picture stuff, Mark. Um, rightly asked the question. We're all disappointed, everyone, but we can't let that affect us for now. We have to, we have to really focus on what we got left. And um, now it's analyzing, reflecting upon the game. And of course, looking forward to Taunton and making sure that we pick a team because we have to go careful the type of team we pick. There's a few bumps, a few bruises and, um, and and the right type of team that can go and get a result, positive result. Yeah, just a final one on that. You told me pretty much for those unaware, uh, from your Boa, unavailable today and presumably you can't play Monday either. So he's going to go with the same 16 players? Yeah, just for clarification, um, Kieran's not far away. Um, he's done some legwork today. Um, obviously, Russi, we know we've lost for the season, but he was here supporting the lads, which is great to see him. Um, but Ephraim, that yeah, it was always the deal that you know FA Youth Cup was a priority for him in Bristol City. We knew that, so yeah, he's preparing for what will be a real, really good, exciting game for him and his team up at Man City on Tuesday. So nothing we can control. We'll put that to bed. Wish him all the very best. But again, going back to what I just said, it's important we really focus on what we've got, who we've got, and um, and the type of team we're going to play to go and get a, a, a win down at Taunton. Best of luck for Monday. Cheers. Thanks, Mark.